Hey guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl back with another great video for you today. And in this video, I thought it would be fun to share some of my Swatch Watch collection. Now, I just got finished filming a deep dive with Patrick over at Trusty Huckster Mercantile. And if you are not subscribed to him, definitely go check out his channel. He does some fabulous deep dives and this is my third one. I was very honored to be on. And I go more in depth about the history of Swatch, what to look out for when collecting, and all kinds of fun information. So I will link the deep dive down below. But I thought today it would be fun to just show some of the Swatch as I showed in the deep dive up close so you guys really get to see some of my collection. So are you ready to see some vintage swatches? Let's go! Okay, so Swatch has a really fascinating history. Now, Swatch was founded in 1983 by a guy named Nicholas G. Hayak, and Swatch quite literally saved the Swiss watchmaking industry. In 1974, Switzerland was the world's leading producer of watches, producing more than 91 million watches and movements. But if you fast forward to the end of the decade, they were only producing 60 million watches. They only had about 635 watchmakers left, which is very low for Switzerland. So they really were in a crisis. And of course, the Swiss banks made a lot of those remaining companies combine into one company and they had to do something. So they started looking around and they realized there was a big trend with a new kind of movement called a quartz movement. And Japan was producing a thin, thin watch at the time that was very easy to make and it was lightweight and it was affordable and it had a quartz movement. And they thought, okay, we've got to do something that will rival what's going on in the world right now. We've got to produce a watch that's got a coarse movement, that's cheap, and that's lightweight, but has a better movement than what's being produced. And they did just that. In 1983, Swatch came out and they released not only a really good quality movement for the price point, but they released a whole slew of watches in fun colors and designs that really helped people personalize and they created such a fun trend with Swatch, literally meaning second watch, where you could buy multiple watches because they were so affordable and then wear them up your arm, which really became an iconic trend of the 80s. So thanks to Swatch, they put the Swiss watchmaking industry back at number one. Now, the first watch that I wanna share with you today is one of my favorites, and this one is pretty hard to find. This is the McGregor Swatch. It came out in 1985, and it just has a really cool plaid design. I love the red, the green, the yellow. It is just so fantastic. I mean, how can you not love this watch? It's got the red band, and then that green band, and then the really, really fun design on its face with the yellow. Now, this watch is a little bit harder to find, so I was very ecstatic when I got it online and I really do think that it's just so cool. Now, another vintage watch I wanna share with you is the 177, and this is just such a fun watch. This 177 watch came out in 1988, and this is the ladies' version of this watch, and it's just got a fun design. You've got kind of like a ruler theme going on, and I love the black and the yellow together. And this one actually came with its original swatch guard, which was a protector that you could buy to put over your swatches so the face didn't get scratched. So I just think this one is so cool. And this one is not easy to get either. A lot of these 80s and 90s ones are just not around anymore. I think people probably threw them away or the bands just break over time because they are sort of a thin plastic. Now the next vintage swatch I wanna share is a really cool swatch from 1993. This is a special swatch that was released as part of a swatch special that you could buy. And this is the Lady Jellyfish. And it is quite literally named Jellyfish because it looks like a clear jellyfish. You can see the inner workings of the watch with that really, really cool multicolored hand and second hand, and then of course all of the little ticks going around the dial there. 
This is just so fun. They made a larger version of this and I absolutely adore this watch. And I was so, so ecstatic to get it for only $5. Now the next watch is very cool. This is another watch that was just such a fun concept. Swatch made so many cool designs. And this one is one of the calendar watches. And this is from 1998. And of course, what's fun about this is if you notice, the dial does not have your regular numbers. Where the numbers are, it actually has the different months of the year, which is so cool. And it's got the day date movement. And then it's got the whole calendar for 1998. This is just such a cool watch. And it's kind of got a fun shimmery band, which probably will not show up on camera, but it is just very, very cool. Now going along with the calendar theme, this is another watch that came out in 2000, and this is to celebrate the millennium. And it is a black and kind of silvery watch with the calendar going down the side. And then this one has the numbers, unlike the other one, but you do have the day date at the bottom. And it's just such a cool watch. I love this like silvery shimmer with the black. It's a really fun design and I love the idea of these calendar watches. Now Swatch did start making a few automatic watches in the 1990s and this is one of them. This is called St. Peter's Gates and oh my gosh you guys this is absolutely beautiful. So this watch does not have your standard quartz movement. This watch actually works because it has a rotor that winds up a mainspring that releases power to the balance wheel. And I'll show that all up close on another watch I'm going to show in a little bit. But this is such a cool watch. It came out in 1993 and it is in really good condition. And I just love the design with the key and all of the different uh, watches going around the outside. Those pocket watches are just really pretty cool. And then of course you've got the golden face and the back with the rotor. This is just such a cool watch. And I also have another automatic watch. This came out in 1992 and this is the Petey watch. And look at this, you guys, it is just gorgeous. This one has that quill on the bottom with the uh, fountain, kind of quill fountain pen. And then it's got all of this like scroll work. This is beautiful in gold. And it's very kind of Italian-esque in my opinion. It's just absolutely stunning. I love this watch. It is beautiful. I mean, even the bezel has a little design to it. And then the watch face does as well. And then you've got the fancy Roman numerals. I just think this is just a really cool watch. And this one is also very, very hard to find online for a decent price anyway, that is. Now, the last couple of vintage watches I wanna show are pretty cool because these were made for Coca-Cola. And of course I have a couple of Coca-Cola swatches. Now, these are actually not Mark Swatch. They just have the word Swiss. I believe there was some sort of issue where Coca-Cola did not want Swatch to put their name on the watch. So they went through this whole thing and they settled with Swiss. Now this one, I believe came out in the 80s and this one kind of has that pop art design to it that Swatch is known for when they collaborate with other artists. And then this one is just your straight Coca-Cola. But they are Swatch and they are just such a cool watch. I love these two. Now the very last vintage watch that I'm gonna showcase today is a very cool watch. This is Moonquake and this came out in 1989 and this is just awesome. It's got two-tone copper finish on the dial and on the outside and then you've got a little silver on the inside. Now what makes this unique is actually you can see the whole inner workings of the watch, including that day movement, which is really unusual for a watch and I think it's really pretty cool. So this is the Moonquake and it is just an amazing, amazing watch and one of my very, very favorite swatches. Now I'm gonna start showing some of the modern swatches that I have in my collection. And these are ones I purchased recently. Swatch is still in business today. And this one is fun. This is a coffee themed watch. And I just absolutely love this. I think it is so cool. It's got the pause play button and the coffee beans on the side 
with the blue. Now this is actually sort of like a Kelly or Army green. It's just a really cool combo of colors. And I love how creative swatches with their designs. They always have something fun and clever. And coffee definitely keeps us going. I sure know that I need my coffee. So I want to show this watch, and I meant to show it when I was showing the vintage ones, but I realized I missed it. This came out in 1992, and it does go along with the coffee theme that I was just showcasing. This is a really cool watch. This one kind of reminds me of the coffee cup that's in Central Perk that's red and it's lit up, and I think it is so cool. This one has, of course, your words going around the outside, sort of like someone's decoupaged a whole bunch of words from a newspaper on the band. And then you've got the fun, just simple coffee cup in the middle with the green, and it's just such a cool watch. So I absolutely love this one. Okay, back to some of the modern watches. So, of course, because I have a pug, I had to get this one. And this one is a pug watch. It is so cute. I love the little pug. And then they've even gone to the trouble and detail of putting a little dog tag on this extra piece where you put the extra part of the band through the little loop. I just think that is so clever. And Swatch's attention to detail is just phenomenal. They do a lot of really fun and clever things, and they're just really neat, and they make a swatch extra special. Now, if you notice, these bands are sort of more of a rubber, and I really like that compared to some of the vintage ones because they're a little easier to wear. Now, this next watch is fun. I picked this up, and it's called Flag Time, and I just had to have it because it's so unique. This has a whole series of different flags going around the outside of this watch. Now, you guys are probably quizzing me. Do I know all my flags? And no, I don't. We need Mary Beth here from Fat Bird Finds who can draw flags. I think, is that South Korea? And then you might have, I know, of course, uh, Britain. And then it looks like the Argentinian flag, but it doesn't have the yellow circle in the middle, so I'm not sure. And I think you have sort of like a Texas design. And then you've got Canada and the U.S. Maybe that one's Argentina. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments down below. That will be a fun thing to read. You guys can tell me about all the different flags on the swatch. I just think that this is so cool. And it's a lot of fun to wear for 4th of July because it's got the American flag. And it's kind of in the red, white, and blue colors. Now, the next modern swatch I have, I picked up because this reminds me so much of one of the vintage swatches. I do believe it's called Mick Plaid. And this one is the version of the Mick Plaid. It's sort of like a, a reissue, but it's got a lot of fun colors and designs and textures and plaids that really don't seem like they go together, but somehow when they're all together on this watch, they just fit. And it's just so fun to wear this watch. Of course, I couldn't have a watch that didn't have plaid on it because I live in my plaid and I think that that is just fantastic. A few more modern ones because boy, oh boy, do they come out with some cool designs. This one is called Look Left and it's got Look Left on the bottom. And then you have this really fun stripe design with a woman walking down the sidewalk with an umbrella. And you've got the kind of bright yellow hands with the gray and the white. It's just such a little fun watch. I so enjoy wearing this because it's whimsical and really cool and just unique. So this next watch I got is really pretty cool because it's in collaboration with the Louvre Art Gallery in Paris. And this features the Mona Lisa. Now they did come out with several of these. I chose this one with the Mona Lisa because I liked its design best. It says Louvre. And then on the side, it's got this fun little detail where the eyes are cut out. And you can see the Mona Lisa's eyes through this little extra strap here on the band. And I think that's so cool. I've been to the Louvre in Paris and I could have spent hours and hours and hours there because there's just so much great art. And so this is really a fun thing to remember that trip. Now, the next couple of watches are very similar to each other, but they have different colors. So, of course, I had to get them, and you guys know how much I love my red. This is part of the new Ghent collection, if I'm getting that name right, G-E-N-T. 
and they came out with these in an array of colors, pretty much a rainbow you could get and collect all the different colors. And what I like about these is they've got that really nice jelly band and then they have different colors on the inside. So even though the watch is red, you still have different parts of the quartz movement painted in different colors and it's just fun to wear. So I've got a red one. I've got a yellow one. I love this yellow one. It is so bright and so happy and so fun. Look at that yellow color. That matches my yellow hat really, really well. Now, the next watch I have is, again, similar to the last two I just showed, but this is part of Swatch's collection that they did called Artist Palette. And it literally just has a whole slew of different colors. And I think that this is probably one of the coolest watches. It's got like a lime green casing. And then you've got this pink and this orange band with the blue and the mint and the yellow and the red and the pink and the aqua. I mean, it's like every color under the rainbow and sort of a pastel -y kind of uh, colorway. And I think that it is so, so cool. So this artist palette one is pretty cool. I don't know that they still make it, so that might be something you'd have to search for online that's not through swatch.com. This is the other one that they made for the artist palette series. It's got a navy blue, a red, with this uh, orange extra band. I don't know what these are called, but you basically run the excess of the watch through it so the tail doesn't just go flapping about. And I don't know what they're called, so if you guys know, let me know in the comments. But this has some really fun colors in it as well, and it's part of that artist series. Now, the next couple of watches I want to show are pretty neat because they are much like the ones we have just looked at, but they're clear. So they're in the style of the jellyfish. Now, these bands admittedly do get very dirty, and of course, you can see I've worn the tar out of this one, so I really need a band replacement. But this is clear, and then you get to the front, and it's black. And I just love the design of this watch. I think it is so cool, very chic, and goes with kind of everything. And it's got the matte black on the inside of that watch, but it's totally translucent. And going along with the translucent theme, because I just have an affinity for these where you can see the inside of the watch. This one has a whole multitude of colors on the inside and it is totally clear. Look at that, you guys. It's got that red and gold and green. This is kind of a fun Christmas watch. And of course, it's translucent so you can see the quartz movement. And boy, oh boy, this is absolutely just so much fun. Now, I've got a few other watches here that are just kind of simple but just really cool. This one is a plaid design, and I do believe that they named this something like Picnic, or they have all kinds of cool names for that, and I don't remember which one this is called, but something to the effect of plaid or picnic or something like that. I don't know if they still make it or not, but I did get this a few years ago, and literally it looks like a plaid picnic blanket, and it's got a very simple face, but there's something that's just so endearing about it, and of course, it's got the day movement, so you always know what day it is. Gosh, I just love this swatch. Now, this next swatch is really cool because it's not your ordinary swatch. This is a swatch thin, or swatch skin, I believe, isn't it called? And this one literally is thin. Look how thin that watch is. It literally it is so lightweight. You don't even know you're wearing this watch. I mean, if you compare it to this other swatch, you can see the diameter there. It is amazing. I don't know how they created a watch like this, but this is just super, super cool. Now, I've got a few more watches to show, and these watches are ones that I picked up as kind of special edition watches. This next one comes in a really cool case celebrating the Olympic spirit. And it's a little hard to show these cases on camera because the camera only has so much width. And these are pretty long, so I hope you guys are getting a good idea of this case. Now this came out for the Rio Olympics, and this swatch is so cool. 
swatch has a very neat history of working with the Olympics. In 1996, they were dubbed the official timekeeper of the Olympics. And to celebrate, they came out with a whole line of Olympic watches for the Atlantic Olympics. And they have done so ever since. And this is just one of these fun, fun swatches featuring the colors of the Olympics for Rio. This was one that you could only get during the game, so you cannot purchase this now. You can only get it probably through eBay, and it is just a really spectacular swatch. So the next watch I'm going to show you is very cool. This is the Celebrate watch, and this came out to commemorate Swatch's big anniversary in 2013, and I love this packaging. It's got shiny gold, matte gold, and then you've got Swatch in gold on the side, which is just so cool. Now, this watch is reminiscent of the Golden Jelly, which came out in the 90s as a Swatch special, and it's got that kind of golden design going around the outside of the face. And that's what the Golden Jelly had, although this one actually says Celebrate on the quartz movement on the inside. And then going around the outside, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of dates. And this watch came out in 2013, so it ends in 2013, but Swatch is still around today. And it starts at 1983 and just goes around. And I think that this one is so cool. And I absolutely love it. The band does need some cleaning because these clear bands, like I mentioned, do yellow over time and kind of get a little gross. So you got to give them a little freshen up every now and then. But this watch is just really fun and neat to have the Celebrate watch. Now, another couple of watches I picked up were watches I got when I was traveling. And you can buy special swatches from various stores when you're out visiting. And this is the New York Swatch. You can only buy these from the New York City Swatch Store. I got mine at the Swatch Store location in Times Square. And this one is one of the newer designs that they've had for New York City. And basically, it has the map of New York City on it, and it is so cool. And it says, Greetings from New York, and then you've got the New York map, which is just absolutely amazing. I think this watch is so cool. Look at the little compass down at the bottom. I mean, how awesome is that? I just think this is just absolutely amazing. So I'm so glad I picked that up. I also picked up another New York swatch while I was there. This is the iconic one that's been around for a while, but it's got New York City and swatch. You've got the Brooklyn Bridge. And then you have the city skyline on the box. You've got the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building there. And this is just so cool. So when you open this watch up, it is a lot smaller than the other watches, but it has a really cool design featuring the New York City skyline with the black and the white, which is just so, so classic. I mean, you literally cannot go wrong with this watch. It is just really cool. I absolutely love it. And of course, New York is my favorite city. So the next watch I'm going to share is another one I picked up on my travels. And I got this when I was visiting a friend in Miami. And the packaging is so cool. It's got a little Miami stamp on it. And then it says, greetings from Miami. And of course, all different fun little mailing things on it. It's supposed to remind you of airmail. So it's got that great airmail design on the package, and I just love how vintage inspired this is. Now the watch itself definitely encapsulates Miami to a T, very Florida-esque, kind of, you know, 1980s golden girls. So you've got the palm trees and the boardwalk, and then you've got a flamingo, because you got to have a flamingo, it's Florida. And then it's got those really fun greetings from Miami with the sun, and just some cool designs. I think that this watch is awesome. And again, you know, these are kind of like my children. You can't choose a favorite. I love them all. So every one I've probably oohed and odd over and said, oh, I love this one because I really do. These are just so cool. Okay, so the next watch that I'm going to show is really fun because it celebrates Switzerland. And this just has some cool packaging. So you've got a cow. You've got the little gondola, and then, of course, you've got a wheel of cheese. I mean, how clever is this? Just so fun. And this was a limited edition watch that was only out for a few years, I believe. And this one has the Swiss cross in it, 
with the colors of the Swiss flag. And of course you've got red and then you've got the Swiss cross. And I just love this watch because what's kind of neat about it is the way they've done the cross on the inside, the Swiss cross, you can actually see a little peek of the inner workings of the watch, which is just absolutely amazing. This one's really a fun watch to wear. And of course that bright pop of red is fantastic with my red hat. Now this watch is a really unique Swatch because Swatch was known for pairing up with fantastic artists. And of course they paired up with Keith Haring and I love Keith Haring. He was so revolutionary for his time and he just made some fantastic art. So this is Keith Haring and Disney. This is the box that came in and this is a Mickey Mouse Swatch. Now this watch comes in kind of eco-friendly packaging, so it's different than all the other plastic watch cases that you're going to see Swatch come out in. And of course they made this really, really cool Disney Keith Herring Swatch that I just love. Look at that design. Oh my goodness. Definitely Mickey Mouse and Disney, but it's got that same kind of style of Keith Herring, the way that he would draw a lot of those uh, black and different colored figures in his art. So I love, love, love this. I think the Mickey Mouse is just adorable. And of course it's Keith Herring and Swatch and Disney, so you can't really go wrong. Now I've got a few more watches to show here and I do have a pretty massive collection, so I'm sure this video is getting long. This next watch is another limited edition Swatch. And it's got a really cool strip on the top that says remove before flight. So if you know anything about flying, this will mean something to you. I think Debbie from our Vagabond Travels will probably really like this. I love traveling and flying, so this watch is just so cool. So it's got the remove before flight strip. And then when you open the watch to the box itself, it just has a really, really cool design. So this has the boarding pass design and this is just so fun so it's got flight passenger around the dial instead of just the numbers going all the way around it says like boarding and late and on time delay that kind of thing going around the outside and then you've got that fun design with the airplane so this is just a really really unique swatch and it's fun to have something that's kind of limited I don't know that they're still making this swatch today. Now the last swatches that I want to showcase in my collection are actually automatic swatches. And these are watches that are just a little bit better quality than the ones that have the plastic bands or the rubber bands. And they're just really well made for their price point. So this is the Blood and Soul watch. And this is where I'm gonna explain a little bit more of the differences between a quartz movement and an automatic movement. And this one is the perfect watch because you can really see it. So this is the Blood and Soul watch. I do believe that they're still making this, but probably in another version. This watch is just so cool because it's totally translucent. You can see through it. You can see the inner workings. You can really watch it move. And I think that's just spectacular. Around the outside of the bezel, you'll see that it says Swiss watches or Swatch watches going around the outside, which is just really neat with that silver design. I do believe this originally had a metal band, but I do have the leather strap on it. Now, let me show you a little bit about the automatic watches. So basically the way automatic watches work is they have a rotor in the back. So this is the rotor. And you'll notice as I'm moving the watch, it's moving around. And this is very important because what it does is it actually winds this spring down at the bottom called the mainspring. And when that is wound up, even just a little bit, it releases power to this balance wheel, which is moving back and forth. And that actually gives the watch power and makes it move. So this is a pretty cool watch. And of course you can wind it up manually. You can put it on a watch winder, but just by wearing the watch, this rotor will move with the natural movement of your arm and wind that mainspring and you will have power to your automatic watch. Quartz watches actually take a battery, so they do not work with this system. And I think that this is just so cool 
and I love the blood and soul. I've got a few other automatic watches that Swatch made. This is a really, really cool watch. I think this was called the Charlie. I want to say it was called the Charlie. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up there, but it is just a cool watch. It's clear, and it's got this fun band. Now, I actually have it on my watch winding pillow because I do have several watch winders, and I'll take this off so you guys can see it. But it is a really, really beautiful watch. I like this little gray detailing around, and then, of course, you've got all of the numbers, and you can see the inside of the watch, which is really my favorite part of these swatches is you can get a look into the mechanics, which I just think is spectacular. This one has glowing hands and that really nice metal band. I also have this watch here, which is another version of one of their automatic watches. I actually have this watch in two colors because I just love it so much. This one is in the black version and it's got Roman numerals for numbers as opposed to the regular numbers that most of the swatches have. So this is their little fancier model. It's got a really nice solid metal case with a leather band. And then of course it's automatic. So you can see it working there, that balance wheel going back and forth and the second hand moving. And this is just such a unique swatch. And I like how they've done the contrasting here with that black rotor with the uh, metal workings on the inside. That silver metal is cool with the black. Just a really, really unique design. Now the last watch that I'm going to showcase today is another automatic watch. And this is the last automatic watch that I have in my collection. And I think that it is so cool. And I don't know if I can get this off the pillow here. I do have these watches on my watch winding pillows that are automatic because it's good to keep these wound up and working so that they don't get sticky. This one is really neat because it has the chain link band, which is really unusual for Swatch. And it's not only an automatic watch, but it also has the date function. So I can actually tell what the date is, which is very handy. It comes in this beautiful copper color with gold, and it has all of this really unique lettering. Very kind of mid-century modern-esque in the way that they've done the uh, numbers on the dial. I just think that that is so fun and it's got little rhinestones going around the bezel. Just a fun watch and a really, really unique piece. I don't think this one's made anymore either, but I absolutely love it. Okay, so last watch I'm going to share with you today that I thought I had already shown, but I realized I didn't, so I'm going to highlight it now, is a really cool watch. This is called the System 51. They made several of these, and I do have several that are similar to it, so I'm not going to show them because we'd be here all day, and I really honestly have so many watches. But this one is cool because it's got a constellation design. It looks like stars, and that's what they designed it after. And of course, what's nice too is that it has a date function. I really love watches that have a date function because I never can remember what day it is. I'm always checking my iPhone, so I like that watches have that. I think that's a great feature. Now this one is called System 51 for a reason. This actually only has 51 parts in it, which is really revolutionary for a watch. So this is really amazing, and it's an automatic watch. You can see the rotor there is really trippy. And this watch is so cool. I love the System 51s, and I'm so glad that I picked this up. Well guys, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Swatch collection. And make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what Swatches you had back in the day. And of course, before my next video, I'll be seeing you over on Instagram at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl. And I hope as always, you will stay in, stay safe, and binge YouTube. Bye bye now. What?